Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalina here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable equations. So let's get going. Problem solve x square dq plus 3x d square plus d into y equals to x square log x. So here we are having variable equations and we are going to reduce this to a linear differential equation, sorry, a higher order linear differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution. Okay, solution. Given differential equation, x square dq plus 3x d square plus d into y equal to x square log x. So if you notice, one x is missing in the LHS. If we get x cube d cube 3 x square d square plus x d, the equation will be Cauchy's equation, right? So what we'll do, we'll just multiply both sides with x, okay? To get Cauchy's equation. We'll just multiply x on both sides then we'll get x into x square d cube is x cube d cube plus 3 x into x square d square is x square d square plus x into d x d into y equal to x into x square is x cube log x which is Cauchy's equation okay now we'll make the substitution. Let or put x equals to e power z. And then log x to the base e equals to z for x greater than 0. And let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then x d is theta. And x squared d squared is theta of theta minus 1. And x cube d cube equals to theta of theta minus 1 into theta minus 2. Right? See, we have theta into theta minus 1, which is theta square minus theta. Now, let's find x cube d cube. This equals to theta into theta minus 1 is theta square minus theta into theta minus 2. Right? This equals to theta square into theta Okay, theta square into theta minus 2 minus theta of theta minus 2, which is equals to theta cube minus 2 theta square minus theta square plus 2 theta, right? Is equals to theta cube minus 3 theta square plus 2 theta, right? I'll write directly x square d square equal to theta square minus theta and x cube d cube equals to theta cube minus 3 theta square plus 2 theta. Now this equation becomes replace x cube d cube by theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 plus 3 into replace x square by x square d square by theta into theta minus 1 and x d by theta into y equal to replace x by e power z, we'll get x e power z whole cube and log x by z, right? This becomes theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 is theta cube minus 3 theta square plus 2 theta plus 3 into theta into theta minus 1 is theta square minus theta plus theta into y equal to z into e power e power z whole cube is e power 3z right this equals to okay this becomes theta cube minus 3 theta square plus 2 theta plus 3 theta square minus 3 theta plus theta into y equal to z into e power 3z Right? Here minus 3 theta square and plus 3 theta gets cancelled. Right? Minus 3 theta square and 
plus 3 theta square gets cancelled. 2 theta plus theta is 3 theta plus 3 theta and minus 3 theta also gets cancelled. So, we will get theta cube 1. Or we can cancel terms involving theta later. Okay. This becomes theta cube plus 2 theta plus theta is plus 3 theta minus 3 theta into y equal to z e power 3z. Now cancel plus 3 theta minus 3 theta then theta cube into y equals to z into e power 3z. See we have constant quotient and also this is in f of theta into y equals to function of z operator of form. f of theta into y equal to q of z where f of theta equals to theta q. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yt. Now firstly we will find yc using the auxiliary equation and later we will go for yb. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of theta theta cube let's replace theta by m that is differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m cube right then our auxiliary equation becomes m cube equals to 0 we can write it as m into m into m equals to 0 equate each term I mean each factor to 0 will get m equals to 0, 0, 0, right? So the roots are equal. Therefore, the roots are real and equal otherwise. We know that when three roots are equal, say m1 equals to m2 equals to m3, then yc looks like c1 plus c2z plus c3z square into a power that equal root into z. Okay. Into a power equal root into z. Now let's write our complementary function. We got m equals to 0, 0, 0, right? Now coming to our complementary function. Yc equals to c1 plus c2z plus c3z square into e power that equal root 0 into z. This equals to c1 plus c2z plus c3z square into e power 0. Since e power 0 is 1, so we'll get c1 plus c2z plus c3z square into 1, which is c1 plus c2z plus c3z square. Now we are having y's in terms of z. Let's write in terms of x by replacing z by log x. This is equals to c1 plus c2 log x plus c3 log x whole square. So this is our required yc. We got yc now. Let's find yp. Particular integral. We will find yp using 1 by f of theta into q of z. z equals to we have f of theta, theta q and q of z is z into e power 3z. See this is of 1 by f of theta into e power az into v form. Okay, we will shift e power az towards left. 
by replacing theta by theta plus a and later we will operate b with 1 by 4 theta plus a right now compare e power 3z with e power az then for a equals to 3 we will find theta plus a which is equals to theta plus 3 now shift e power 3z towards left by replacing theta with theta plus 3 we will get theta plus 3 whole q into z right so this is of 1 by some function of theta into z power k form okay so we'll take the lowest degree term common from these two terms but in the first term we don't have any 3 so we'll multiply and divide 3 to this theta okay so that it will be easy to take 3 common from the two terms of denominator now yp becomes e power 3z into 1 by I'll multiply and divide 3 to the first term plus 3 whole q into z. Okay. This equals to e power 3z into 1 by. Now take 3 common from these two terms. We'll get 3 times theta by 3. Plus 1 whole q into z. This equals to e power 3z into 1 by 3 cube into theta by 3 plus 1 or just write the denominator as 1 plus theta by 3 whole cube into z. This equals to e power 3z into 1 by 3 cube 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 into 1 plus theta by 3 whole cube into z okay this equals to e power 3z into now split the fraction as 1 by 2 27 into 1 by 1 plus theta by 3 whole cube into z see this fraction is of 1 by 1 plus x whole cube form we can write it as 1 plus x power minus 3. Okay. Then the above step becomes. This is 27 into 1 plus theta by 3 power minus 3 into z. Now we will apply binomial series expansion formula to this 1 plus theta by 3 power minus 3. For x equals to theta by 3. Okay, so we are going to use formula 1 plus x for minus 3 equals to 1 minus 3x plus 6x square minus 10x cube plus so on. So before using or applying this formula, let's find derivatives of z. Theta of z is 1, theta square of z is 0. See? We can write theta square of z as theta of theta of z. The value of theta of z is 1. And derivative of 1 with respect to z is 0. So we will get theta square of z is 0. Likewise theta cube of z is 0. Theta power 4 of z is 0 and so on. In general we can write all these terms as theta power k of z is equals to 0. For k equals to 2, 3, 4 and so on. Right? Now keeping this in mind, we will find the expansion. Okay? Now coming to the expansion, 1 plus theta by 3 power minus 3. For x equals to theta by 3, we will get 1 minus 3 into theta by 3 plus 6 into theta by 3 whole square minus 10 into theta by 3 whole cube plus so on. See here we will get 1 minus theta. Oops. Sorry. 6 into theta square by 3 square minus 10 into 
theta cube by 3 cube plus so on. So if you notice here we are having terms involving theta square, theta cube and so on which are higher derivatives which has to be omitted. So we will neglect all the terms from here because it involves higher derivatives theta square, theta cube and so on right. So we will get or we will use only the first two terms 1 minus theta. Now coming to yp. E power 3z into 1 by 27 into expansion of 1 plus x whole power minus 3 is 1 minus 3 into theta by 3 plus 6 into theta by 3 whole square minus 10 into theta by 3 whole cube plus so on into z. This becomes 3 3 gets cancelled. We will get e power 3z into 1 by 27 into 1 minus theta plus 6 into theta square by 3 square minus 10 into theta cube by 3 cube plus so on into z. Now we are going to neglect all the higher derivatives right since theta power k of z equals to 0. For k equal to 2, 3 and so on. So neglect higher derivatives theta square, theta cube and so on. Then this becomes e power 3z into 1 by 27 into 1 plus theta into z which is equals to e power 3z, I will write it as 1 by 27 into e power 3z into 1 into z, z minus theta of z, right? Yp becomes 1 by 27 into e power 3z into z minus theta of z, derivative of z with respect to z is 1, right? Now we are having yp in terms of z, we need to write in terms of x, so we will replace e power z by x and z by log x. In order to replace e power z by x, we need to write e power 3z as e power z whole cube do z minus 1. Now let's replace e power z and z, replace e power z by x. We will get x cube into replace z by log x. We will get log x minus 1. So this is the required yp or we can write this yp as x cube by 27 into log x minus 1. So we got yp and yc. Let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp then y equal to yc we have c1 plus c2 log x plus c3 of log x whole square and yp is plus x cube by 27 into log x minus 1 this completes the problem so we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations with variable questions in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye